Oscar World was an epic pay-per-view at SummerSlam. Titles changed. Magic happened. Tonight it's Raw. And there's changes. What changes are they? Stay tuned to find out. Opening contest. It's Sheamus going one on one with somebody who I've transferred over from SmackDown. Who is it? Ooh. Ooh. Who is it? Ooh. Yes, I've made some changes and I brought somebody over from SmackDown. I've done a little trade in terms of what's going to happen and everything. I've transferred two people. I've done a swap basically. Someone's gone over to SmackDown, which you'll find out tomorrow night. And someone's came over to Raw. And the person who's came over to Raw is going to face Sheamus momentarily. So this should be good. Uh, Sheamus missing out on the United States title last night in a hard fought match with Finn Balor. But Balor is still the US champion. And hopefully the match will take place. And we've got. Uh, We'll find out momentarily. So here we go. Who is it? That's right. It's Dean Ambrose. The former Intercontinental Champion, former WWE World Heavyweight Champion is now on Raw. He's made the jump. One on one, man. One on one. This should be good. Sheamus and the man himself, Mr. Dean Ambrose. Sheamus, Dean Ambrose, one-on-one, -on -one, let's do this. Bell rings and we're off. What a night we have in store for you. Thank you for joining us. I'm Michael Cole alongside Jerry the King Lawler on what should be an amazing night of action. Yeah, and I don't know which match I'm looking forward to the most, Michael, but what I do know is that... Action pot stock from Dean Ambrose. This, is a this should be good, though, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed uh, SummerSlam last night. If you didn't... If you didn't, link will be in the description. Links will be in the description below for the SummerSlam pay-per-view itself. So be sure to check that out. And these two are on the outside. You expect the brawl in this match. You don't expect the wrestling match. We talk about Sheamus' strength, but how about his smarts? Yeah, I'll be the first to admit, this guy's good. He's really using his weight to his advantage here. Reaching on the head and neck. Ah! And he escapes the hole. Four. Dean Ambrose can go stride for stride with any superstar in WWE, no matter how big or small. Ambrose launches These two still brawling on the outside, man. Ref to the count of ten. It's going to end in a double count out, guys. I hope it doesn't, because that's not what I want to kick off Raw today. I don't want to kick off Raw. Rips to the count of six. These two are brawling on the outside. And you would expect that in this match, guys. Oh, Ambrose hit hard there. Uh, apologies for the lack of commentary that I'm trying to do in this match. I'm trying to do things, two things at once. Great kick. Belly to back suplex. Beautifully done. Jawbreaker coming up. United States champion in WWE history with a 351 day championship reign. That's the third longest ever if you include the title's history in WCW and the NWA. Eyes on the attack now. Sheamus with the shot there. Moving up. 
The power advantage definitely goes with Sheamus, guys. Definitely goes with Sheamus. That unique neck breaker he displayed last night. Ballows on the receiving end of that on many occasions. Ambrose kicks out. Shot to the gut. Ambrose fights back. Great elbow. Boot to the midsection. Shot to the face. Chop. And the Michiduka drive. Ambrose. Great clotheslines. Take a swing kick. Oh, what a shot that was. And a headbutt from Sheamus. That's usually Dean Ambrose's forte, but anyway. And Ambrose. That's a dirty deeds. Can he get the victory here on Raw? And his debut. And no. Didn't do anything well. Look at those eyes. Oh yeah, this could be big. Oh man, from the high Double axe handle from the top. He's not exactly Ambrose now. To his feet here. Probably a raw eyeing up the universal title. Which is currently held by Brock Lesnar at the moment. As well, maybe you eyeing up a few other things here and there as well. Maybe holding up the World Tag Team Champions. And, oh, great elbows. Neckbreaker coming up. And a shot to the throat as well to go with it. Hard-hitting match to kick off this episode of Raw, guys. Still to come on this episode of Raw. Bailey goes one-on-one -on -one with, yes, Stephanie McMahon. You heard me correct. Bro kick from Sheamus. One, two, and Ambrose kicks out. Like I was saying, Bailey one on one with Stephanie McMahon later on. Also, we'll be hearing from Chris Jericho later on as well, which should be interesting. And Finn Balor, the United States champion, is scheduled to go one on one with Goldberg later on in this episode. You heard me correct. Finn Balor one on one with Goldberg. And the main event is the rematch from SummerSlam. That's right, the main event is a rematch from SummerSlam. It is me, it is the, the, the club challenging the Brothers of Destruction for the World Tag Team Championships. You heard me correct. You're probably thinking to yourself, what do I mean by that? World Tag Team Champions? Well, I'll find out later on. Because I brought some belts back. Brought some belts back, baby. That's right. He's wild in there. You can practically feel the wear and tear. Boots to the midsection there. Oh, head just bounced there. Boots to this. And there's that neck breaker again from Seamus. Very unique neck breaker. Dragon screw leg whip. And shot to the face there, uh, shot to the gut rather. Sheamus now, suplex slam, I guess you could say. Going up, Sheamus back in the hard way with a suplex from the apron. Dean Ambrose now, can he finish off Sheamus? And that's it. another boot, two boots there to the face, one to the sternum area and another one to the face. What a boot. Boot to the midsection. Suplex. He gets it. Boot to the bit section. Elbow Connors. Another neck breaker coming up. No. Seamus Connors it. And Irish Curse. Irish Curse backbreaker. This is Seamus' chance to put away Dean Ambrose. Seamus looking to bust open Dean Ambrose and successfully does so. Great start to Ambrose's debut here on Raw. 
gets busted open. First chance. Celtic Cross coming up. Celtic Cross. Celtic Cross. He hits it. Ambrose is busted open though. Celtic Cross. Will this be it? Ref in perfect position for once. Two and no. Ambrose kicks out. Double X handle misses. Ambrose now. Go behind. Oh, what a soup. What a unique slam. Unique reverse power slam, I guess you could say that was. Very unique though. Shot. Miss it. Puts the midsection. It's Dirty Deeds 1. That's the very first uh, version. It's now called the 1%. Now. Right. And then. Oh, turns inside. Oh, Ambrose receives a shot. Rebound, close line coming up. And he hits it. And he hits it on the on Sheamus. Sheamus takes a knee to the face. What a shot that was. Now Ambrose looking to bust open Sheamus. Doesn't get there. Sheamus in a little bit of trouble here. It's not made by Sheamus on Ambrose. And a shot to the face. I think Sheamus is trying to work that cut. Rake the face. Shot to the kidneys. Ambrose now goes for a power bomb, but Sheamus turns it into a DDT. I can't believe everything that's transpired thus far. It's been so physical. You're right about that, Paul. This has been an This is white noise. He hits it. Elbow. Sheamus looking to put away Dean Ambrose. One. Two and no. Sheamus looking to finish Dean Ambrose off with a bro kick. Can he do it? No, Ambrose counters it. Go behind. Elbows by Sheamus. Great match to kick off this episode of Raw. Sheamus now in a little bit of trouble. Snap suplex coming up. Yep. Ambrose is in trouble now. Sheamus was in a little bit of trouble at the beginning, but he's turned it all around for him. Sweep. Ambrose looking to get back in this. Needs to finish off Sheamus. Not going to look good on his resume if he lost his debut match here on Raw in this series. Knee to the gut. Boot to the sternum. And another boot. Two boots. And Sheamus now receives a short arm, shoulder tackle. Boot to the face. Ambrose putting the boots to Sheamus. Boot to the midsection on Ambrose though. Irish whip in the corner. Sheamus looking for a takedown. Ambrose reversed it. And a kick to knee. Swing kick. And I think Sheamus took that knee in the face though. Great counters in this matchup. Sheamus now. White noise coming up. And he hits it. Wow, he's still down after that. I like what I'm seeing here from Dean Ambrose. Bro kick after that counter. The draw breaker counter. The head broke a counter. Two and no. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Well, we all know Ambrose won't quit. That's why he's called the Lunatic Fringe. But surely he would have won, won that match. But anyway. Am on there. Ambrose looking to finish off Sheamus. Can he do so? Dirty Deeds coming up. Dirty Deeds. He hits it. Goes right into the cover. Could this be a one? Two and three. Ambrose beat Sheamus. And what was a hard fought victory and a hard fought match. Great match to kick off this episode of Raw. But Dean Ambrose on his debut on Raw picks up a massive win in his quest to raise hell on Monday Night Raw. 
Sheamus had him on many occasions. Ambrose just won't go down. There's that rebound clothesline. And then the Dirty Deeds right here. And this was good enough to give Dean Ambrose his very first victory on Monday Night Raw. Very unique match to kick off Raw, but a very good match nonetheless. Dean Ambrose with the big victory. Heartfall victory over Sheamus. A very worthy opponent. Great way to make your debut here on Raw, guys. After being transferred over from SmackDown in a swap deal, you'll find out who the replacement is for SmackDown tomorrow. Dean Ambrose, first victory. What's next for Dead? What's his goals here on Raw? I guess we can only find out. Women's match coming up. It's Bailey. Here we go. Bailey now. The women's champion. Raw women's champion. It's good to go one on one with Stephanie McMahon momentarily. Yes, you heard me correct. Stephanie McMahon. She is the women's champion. She shocked the world at Saturday night's main event by beating Nia Jax. And I can honestly tell you this right now, ladies and gentlemen. Nia Jax is not happy. Nia Jax is not a happy girl, let me tell you. She is not happy whatsoever. She is looking for Bailey. I've spoken to Nia. She is looking for Bailey. She wants Bailey and she wants that belt back. So, so Bailey momentarily, the women's champion. Momentarily going to go one-on-one -on -one with Stephanie McMahon. This should be interesting to see Stephanie McMahon in action. And here comes Bailey's opponent now. And from Greenwich, Connecticut, Stephanie McMahon. Yeah, this should be re unique. I guess if Stephanie beats Bailey, she'll get a shot at the women's title at some point. Believe this or not, she used to be the women's champion. But uh, yeah, she's coming down the ringside. Not much you can say about this. That's the outfit she wore at um, the SummerSlam pay-per-view for a match with uh, Brie Bella, I believe it was. But momentarily now we go Stephanie McMahon one on one with Bailey. Here we go. One on one encounter, Bailey. The Billy Dollar Princess. Here we go. Monkey flip by Stephanie. And an arm drag by Bailey. Boot to the midsection. Bailey now, famous carry takeover. Stephanie fights back with the forearm. Bailey in a little bit of trouble here, but Khan is there. Close, short arm closing line on Stephanie. Elbow. This should be good though, guys. This should be good. Still to come, guys. Finn Balor one-on-one -on -one with Goldberg. And the tag team title main event, which is, if I forget, failed to mention, I think I did fail to mention, it is a rematch for the World Tag Team titles tonight. The now newly crowned undisputed tag team champions, the Brothers of Destruction, defend against the club, and it's Extreme Rules. That's right. Extreme Rules match, so that means anything goes. Suplex by Bailey on the Billion Dollar Princess. Great start to Raw so far. Hopefully, this can continue. The Rob Van Dam. Apparently the crowd wants some Bailey. Stephanie really working on Bailey until that kick to the face there, Kana. Knee to the face. 
Shot to the face. Great canners in this so far. Relatively even so far. So. Neck breaker by Stephanie. Kick to the face. King, not only is Stephanie McMahon one of the principal owners of WWE, but she's also quite a fighter Go. in the ring. Well, what do you expect, Cole? Stephanie McMahon was literally born into the... Boot to the midsection. Of course, she's going to be a fighter. Very unique, shining wizard. Yeah. Boot to the midsection. Bailey the belly suplex. She hits it. Surely this is it. One, two, and no. Stephanie kicks out. Bailey now looking to finish off Stephanie McMahon. She has in, she's in control, which you would expect. But like I said, don't count out the Billy Dog Princess. What a great. Spot busted there from Stephanie. Stephanie looking to put away Bailey. Can she put away Bailey? Irish whip. Bailey. Uppercut. Great uppercut. Looking to put away Stephanie. Only one cut though. Great counters there. Shot to the face there. She's showing something different here tonight. Stephanie needs to quit pondering to the crowd. Oh no! And Stephanie now on the apron with Bailey. What's she gonna do? Seems a DDT coming up. It is DDT on the apron. DDT on the apron. That sucks. Boot to the face. I don't recall the last time I saw a women's match as closely contested as this one. Straight knee to the face. Double counter coming here. Oh, Bailey with a double axe handle to Stephanie. Ref to the counter four. Another monkey flip from. Great shot there. She's definitely in the zone now. Oh, great DDT counter there from. Going up. Belly to back suplex. Very bridge impact move there. Bailey now, what's she going to do? Cradle suplex. Into there. Well, it Bailey looking to put away. She seems to be a little bit frustrated at the moment. Putting away. Another uppercut. From the second rope. Bailey aiming for the Bailey to belly. <coughs> and she hits it. Cover up. One, two, could this be it? And Bailey wins. Bailey beats Stephanie. In what you would expect, really. But she's the women's champion, and she gets a win over the boss's daughter. And there she is, ladies and gentlemen. I, I, I warned you. Nia Jax is very angry, and Bailey wants the belt. And Bailey's there. She's offered the belt for her. She wants that belt back. It's all about the women's title. Chris Jericho. We're going to hear from the, <coughs> excuse me, excuse the cough, we're going to hear from the number one contender.
fall out the Universal Champion. Chip, he's going to get a title shot at Night of Champions. Yes, it's going to be Brock Lesnar versus Chris Jericho at Night of Champions. I am the greatest talent to ever set foot in the WWE wing. I want that to seep into your thick heads. For the moment, I'm better than Ric Flair. I'm better than Bret Hart. I'm better than Stone Cold Steve Austin. And by the time I'm done, I will be more estimate and revered and more praised than God in the WWE. You read the rest. Just a bully. I know you came out here to sit and stuff your faces and forget about the boring lives for the night. I'm sure seeing an amazing superstar like me doesn't make you feel much better about yourself. But listen up, because you're doing... Because you're... Because you're getting... You're going to get a lesson from the winner. Yeah. I know... WWE Universe isn't behind me and neither is anyone in the locker room but I don't care no one is ever behind me I had to fight for everything I got whether you're with me or against me I'm the only one I'm only in this for myself seems to be working the promos you can read them for yourself guys I can't read them out for you <laughs> not exactly likeable and do you know what happened when a star is upset? They freak out. They throw a fit. You do not want to see me throw a fit. I will make calls and bankrupt this company within seconds. Oh, jeez. Vince likes that, I'm sure. Yeah, a hardcore heel. Poking the bear. If you don't like my announcements, then change the channel. Go home. I really don't care. You mean nothing to the grand scheme of WWE, so piss off or, em or embarrass me as your embrace me as your future. Wow. Some strong language there. This is PG, I'm guessing. Damn. Chris Jericho, not PG. I like Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, Brock Lesnar, I hope you're watching. <laughs> Finn Balor. <laughs> The United States champion, yes, he beat Sheamus last night in a hard-fought victory. And tonight, he's going to go one-on-one -on -one with Goldberg. Here he is, the U.S. champion. The United States champion, the U.S. champion himself. There's that belt. Got it around his waist. Can Finn Balor turn back the challenge of the former Universal champion? And Finn Balor's opponent is a very angry former Universal Champion, I'm guessing, because he is no longer the champion after losing a hard fought match at the SummerSlam pay per view to Brock Lesnar. Brock, yes, has his belt back, but Br Goldberg will be looking to get that opportunity to get his belt back. He'd be looking to get that opportunity to get his belt back. He wants that Universal title back. Will he get it? Will it happen? We don't know. But for now, it's going to be Goldberg one-on-one. -on -one with Finn Balor momentarily. He's going to go after Finn Balor. Maybe this is to prove a point. I don't know. But Goldberg had a great run as Universal Champion. Like I say, he won the belt at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view. As the mystery po opponent, shocked the world by winning the belt, but loses it at the at the SummerSlam pay-per-view. 
but he's looking to bounce back in this match against Finn Balor. Sort of a dream match we've got here, you guys. Sort of a, a dream match. Finn Balor one on one with Goldberg. It should be a good one, guys. Finn Balor, Goldberg here. The penultimate match here on Raw. Still to come the main event for the tag team titles. The rematch from SummerSlam, but here we go. Finn Balor, Goldberg, one-on-one. -on -one. Let's do this. Goldberg, all impact. High impact offense kicks off, rolls the dice on Bala. Bala with a short arm clothesline. Feeling out process, although you wouldn't call it a feeling out process. But hey, this is what we signed up for, didn't we? Kicks him. Hit the elbow. And Bala's going up on top. What's he going for? Surely not the I was say not the coup de grave straight away. But he goes for the drop kick, misses. I think he took a little bit too much time. What in your opinion can we all expect from him tonight? Well, luckily the body hasn't absorbed too much. Straight kick to the face. Going up. Elbows, elbows, elbows. Straight to the face. Go back from behind. What's he gonna do? Belly to back Uranagi suplex. Or Uranagi slam even. Go back looking to dominate Bala. Bala retained the United States title against Sheamus last night. Go back. Things not looking great for Finn Balor. Yeah. But he's very aware of who he's in there with and what he has to do to rebound. Pompano fall away, Slupilex. Goldberg, cover. One, two. Goldberg looking to dominate this matchup. Bounce back from losing last night. Elbows to the trapezius muscles. Area, the shoulder area. Goldberg. He's setting up Bala. Can he hit it? No, Bala did the same thing as Lesnar. DDT. Hits a DDT. Goldberg counters it. Goldberg with the counter. Oh, ba 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 ba. Good move. Good move. Bala, great counters in this match so far. Bala counting the uh, power slam move. And speeds Goldberg to the outside from the apron area. Belly to back side suplex there. Inside the ring again. Goldberg throws Bala back in. Where's Goldberg going? I thought he was going to run away there and go back into the locker room, but he didn't. He's back in the ring. Looking to finish off. Looking to finish him finish off Bala. Bala now in trouble. Go behind. Reverse DDT. Reverse DDT on Goldberg. Goldberg now gets hit by the Bala's version of the cold breaker and Bala's going up on top now he's going oh he's going for the coup de grab but he didn't double axe handle Bala now from face lock on Goldberg what's he going to do with him he's going to throw Goldberg straight to the outside Bala now Goldberg moved up the way of the dive. Goldberg moved up the way of the dive and Bala took a horrific back bump on the concrete floor. Yes, there's mats there, guys. But Bala took a horrific bump there on the concrete floor. Goldberg now Get, throws Bala back in the ring. He's heading back in, all right. 
and the arm wrench works the arm of Goldberg Irish whip by Bala roll in neck breaker he gets it so if I can see him punks down neck breaker one two and Goldberg kicks out good match so far between two of the best on Monday Night Raw Bala looking for the Eddie Guerrero Sintan but didn't get it. Springboard Sintan. Or slingshot Sintan, I should say. Bala now. Oh, straight kick to the face area. Goal for back heel, doesn't get it. Right hand by Goldberg. Goldberg now. Power slam, goal behind by Bala. Great counter from Bala. Goldberg now, can he hit it? No, he, he, he's looking for power moves, Goldberg, but Bala keeps reversing him and going behind on him. Bala now controlling Goldberg at the moment, at least trying to. Go behind on him, belly to back suplex. Crowd trying for Finn, will break there on that cover. Head scissors, elbow. Three elbows to the top of the head area, just working that head area. Goldberg now counters that, oh, ducks out of the way of that swing. Got back there, baby. Belly back suplex, side suplex. Bala now seems to be one step ahead. Seems to be one step ahead. Bala now with Goldberg, what's he going to do? Sit out power bomb, is it? It is. No cover, all impact. Kick to the face here. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. I don't like his entire face. Bala now. He's looking for his finishing move. He's going to hit it. That's the double stomp. The Coupe de Grace, he gets it. One, two, and Goldberg kicked out. Goldberg kicked out. Goldberg kicked out of Bala's finishing move. Bala's second rope inside, measuring Goldberg. What's he going to do? Drop kick. Daniel Bryan style drop kick. Bala working the leg of Goldberg. Trying to work the leg of Goldberg at, at least. And beautiful drop to hole from Goldberg. Gets back into the matchup. Look at the bust open. Bala doesn't do it. Works that head there. And Bala. Oh, pop up spear. Pop up spear on Bala by Goldberg. Could this be it? Pop up spear by Goldberg. Two and three. Goldberg beats Finn Balor. Goldberg beats Finn Balor. Hell of a way for Goldberg to bounce back. That neck breaker there from Finn. Only gets a two count out of it though. CM Punk style neck breaker. And then the uh, coup de grace, coup de gras, whatever you want to call it. Only got him a two count though. Goldberg kicked out. And then it was this, the Irish whip. Pop up. Spear. Boy did he flatten him. And that pop up spear was good enough for Goldberg to get a huge victory. The man bounces back after losing to the Universal title of the Brock Lesnar last night at SummerSlam. What's the quest? He is looking to get that belt back. I hope Brock Lesnar was watching, because that's one hell of a statement. What's next for Goldberg? We can only wait and see. But I wouldn't want to be Brock Lesnar.
Main event time, guys. Here are the former. Never thought I'd say that. The former tag team champions. The Raw tag team champions. After a grueling battle last night at the SummerSlam pay per view. It's, you know, it's changed basically. It's changed for the big time because they are no longer the, the Raw Tag Team Champions. And we have brand new undisputed Tag Team Champions, which now the champions are on both shows, Raw and SmackDown. So both the Tag Team Divisions on, on the shows have come together. So you may see some great matches and down the road. You're going to see the club challenging they have their rematch clause and they're getting it tonight this is extreme rules and you're going to see the new undisputed world tag team champions come out right now that's right it's bod brothers of destruction but they're not wearing the raw and smackdown titles guys they'll be wearing some familiar belts that i brought back and belts that i actually like to be honest with you but here they come bod this is extreme rules. Anything goes. Tornado tag team match. And there you have it, guys. Recognize the belts? The Raw World Tag Team Titles. That's right, the World Tag Team Titles from, I think it was 02 to about 010. I love them belts. I did, honest. I don't know why. There was just something about them belts that was great at the time. And now they're back in use. That's right. And they're around the waist of the Brothers of Destruction. BOD, the undisputed world tag team champions. Oh, it's just phenomenal. It really is. The undisputed tag team champs. to defend the titles tonight though this is for the world tag team titles this is extreme rules and this is the rematch from SummerSlam except SummerSlam's match was not extreme rules this is Kane world tag team champs those belts are awesome man I'm so glad I brought them back WWE tag team champs the world tag team champions they're back the belts are back and they're around the waist of the best team on this series the brothers of destruction just think i brought them back for a simple reason but anyway the world tag team champs there they are they're back and with that further ado lillian Looking to regain the gold. The world tag team champs, the undisputed world tag team champs, Undertaker and Kane. With those beautiful belts. Pass them over to the referee. This is Extreme Rules, guys. The rematch from from SummerSlam. The club wanted it this way. No disqualifications. No countouts. No tags. It's a tornado tag team matchup. There's four guys, one fight, and the fight is on. Expect a high impact offense in this match. Shoulder block and the belly to belly suplex or shoulder. Uh, Show the break and the belly the belly suit makes to kick this off. And if that doesn't tell you otherwise, nothing will. Gallows now with the Undertaker double underhook suplex. German suplex, in fact. Neck breaker on Kane. Gallows and Anderson looking to reclaim their tag team titles, the right to be the tag team champions again. K 
Kane and Luke. Luke Gallows and Taker in the corner. Kane and Anderson doing their thing as well. Front face lock on Anderson. What's Kane going to do? Gallows picks up the Undertaker. Beautiful. Arm wrench, power slam. Taker looking to get the first weapon. Gallows puts an end to that. Taker running DDT on Gallows. It's getting real dangerous now. This is extreme rules, guys. Anything goes. Forearm smashed by Kane in the ring. Kane controlling Carl Anderson. Power slam is it? Running power slam. Kane now uh, Gallows with Undertaker and. I think Gall Gallows was just basically slammed on the steps. Shoreham clothesline on the Undertaker. Got Anderson off the ropes. Tilt the world side slam. He gets it. Reverse DDT on Gallows on the outside. Taker controlling Luke Gallows. Anderson looking for a weapon. This is Extreme Rules, by the way. This is the main event of Monday Night Raw. Anderson with a kendo stick. Takes it off him and Kane uses it on Anderson. And now he's using that. He's looking to use it again. Kane uses the kendo stick to his advantage. STO takedown on Gallows. Anderson. Draw break by Kane. It is a four way, a high impact fight. That's what this is, guys, for the world tag team titles. Boot to the face. Power slam countered by Luke Gallows on the outside. Fall away slam is it on Kane, on the Undertaker rather. Fall away slam by Luke Gallows. Anderson with Kane in the ring. Trying to keep up with this guy. It's like I say, it'd be high impa impact, belly to back suplex. Kane and Gallows being thrown back in. Undertaker with his traditional leg drop. Undertaker ain't playing around. Neither is Kane, to be honest with you. Neither is Gallows and Anderson. Everybody wants to be the tag team champs. And a power slam is it? It is. Full force power slam there from Kane. Kane with the claw hold. Power slam by Gallows. Now Gallows looking for a weapon, I'm guessing. And Kane with Anderson. Choke slam. He hits it. He hits the choke slam. But. Uh, Taker counters the, the chair. And Taker. Tombstone on Gallows. He hits it. STO takedown. One, two, three. Undertaker and Kane win the match. That simple, guys. That simple. Undertaker and Kane are the undisputed tag team champs. Physical main event matchup but this is what did it in guys the tombstone that allowed Taker to get the pin and the Brothers of Destruction retain the World Tag Team Championships still the World Tag Team Champs Undertaker and Kane they have the gold. Undisputed tag team champions. Who is going to beat this team? Crying out loud. But this should be good. What's going to happen on SmackDown with these two? Because these two are heading to SmackDown. What's in store for them? We can only find out. My name is Anthony Walker for the Games Matter channel. You've been watching Monday Night Raw, another installment of my WWE 2K17 My Universe series. We're not far off 2K18, guys. Undertaker and Kane reign supreme, and I'll see you next time. Like, share, and subscribe. Peace out.